Hi friends, it's good to have you back this Sunday. I'm so excited to be sharing a little bit more of the story about Moses and how God helped the children of Israel. If you remember last week, we talked about how Moses grew up in the, in the palace and then some things happened and he went out of the palace. Do you remember that? And then he went out and he saw something pretty spectacular. Does anybody remember what Moses saw? You remember? Mm. You don't remember? Travis doesn't remember. Do you remember what Moses saw out when he was tending the sheep? He saw the burning bush. If you remember that, you were right. It was the burning bush. And God told Moses something pretty incredible. He told him that he had a job for him to do. God had a special job for him. And Moses decided he was going to obey. Do you remember our memory verse? Oh, that's right. I obey your commandments with all my heart. That, can you guys say it with me? I obey your commandments with all my heart. That's what the, our memory verse was. And we learned about Moses and how he said, I'm going to obey God and obey what God is asking me to do. Even though it sounds a little strange because Moses had to go back to Egypt. He had to go back to Pharaoh and God had a special job for him. God wanted Pharaoh to let his people go. If you remember his people, the Israelites, they were slaves. Pharaoh had them as slaves and had them working. And so God sent Moses as the leader, even though Moses was scared, he didn't really want to go at first, but he said, I'm going to obey God's commandments with all my heart. That's right, all my heart. And so he obeyed and God told him, go, go into Pharaoh and tell him, let my people go. Now, how do you think that went? Mm -mm -mm. That's right. Pharaoh said, no way. And God said, okay, I'm going to send some bad things your way until you listen. That's right. He sent a plague, which is like a whole bunch of bad things. One of them had frogs, lots of frogs, and they were everywhere. Do you think you'd like frogs everywhere? Mm -mm. I don't know about that. I don't think I would like frogs everywhere. So frogs were everywhere. That was one of the things. And when the frogs came, the people were kind of like, what's going on? And Moses went back to Pharaoh and he said, let my people go. God's telling you, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, nope. He said no again. And then God sent another plague of, I think that next one was flies. I'd have to actually look back and see. There was flies, there was locusts, there was all sorts of crazy things. And every single time something, God would send something, trying to get Pharaoh to listen, Moses would go back and he would say, God said, let my people go. And Pharaoh over and over again said, no, I know, a little crazy. Until finally, finally, he said, okay, I'm going to let God's people go. And so God's people got ready and they were leaving Egypt and they were headed for the land that God told them was their land for them. But they came into something. They came up to the Red Sea. It was a big, huge sea and they couldn't cross it. Oh, nope, no, they didn't have boats. They didn't, it was too big to swim. They couldn't cross it. It was a big red sea and the people were a little scared and Moses said, God, now what? And it says, 
said Mo God told Moses, put your staff in the air and hold up your hands. You can see on a picture up there. And when you do, I'm going to part the red. <laughs> yeah, part. Put it in half. Two parts. The Red Sea. I know. It, you know what? Because God can do anything. Can you say that with me? God can do anything. Some things are impossible for us. They are, but not for God. And so Moses obeyed, because remember, he said, I'm going to obey your commandments with all my heart. So Moses obeyed, and then when he did, God parted the Red Sea, and the Israeli people were able to walk through on dry ground, the Bible tells us. Not wet, muddy ground, not like in ankle-deep water where they were scared. The Bible says they walked through on dry ground. God did a miracle. And from there, yeah, I, I don't know. I wonder if they saw any fish because you went fishing. <laughs> I don't know if they saw any fish. And from there, they walked through to safety to the other side. Because actually, it was interesting, right behind them, once they left, Pharaoh, being a bad guy, he says, you know what, I've changed my mind. Yeah, he decided he had changed his mind. And he was going to send the soldiers after the Israeli people and not let them go. So the Israeli soldiers were right behind them, coming to take them back. And God saved them. He parted the Red Sea, and his people got through. And then he shut the Red Sea, and Pharaoh's army didn't get through. Stop them right there. Now, I have some questions for you. Let's see if you can think about some of these questions. I have some funny questions, and I want you to think about it and see what you can do. Can you jump to the moon? You think you can? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> not a plastic moon. The real moon. Do you think you can jump to the moon? No, I don't think so. What about, but can you touch your toes? Yeah, you can touch your toes. How about, can you put an elephant in your pocket? No, an elephant's pretty darn big. I don't think I could put an elephant in my pocket either. No elephants in pockets. Can you touch your tummy? I don't know. I wonder if a T-Rex can touch his tummy. T-Rexes have little teeny arms. I don't know if they could touch their tummy. Maybe a T-Rex can't. But you can. We can touch our tummy. Can you lift a mountain? No. But you know what? There are some things that are impossible for us, but they're all possible with God because God can do anything. With God, all things are possible, everything. So even though sometimes it seems impossible for us, and we don't understand what's going on, everything is possible with God. And if we obey his commandments with all our hearts, there are times when we see things that we thought were impossible, and God makes them possible. God does them. And that was what Moses and the children of Israel found out, that when they looked at something they thought was impossible, they obeyed God with all their hearts. God made it possible. And so friends, I want you to think about that. Maybe there's something that you think is impossible or you think is scary. And sometimes God says, you know what? Just trust and obey me and obey me on my commandments with all your heart. And I make the impossible possible. Love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. And if you look in the church, there'll be a little, um, there's a little clip attached to this that actually has an art project with the Red Sea that you could probably do a little coloring sheet and a little art project that explains it. I hope you have an amazing day. I love you guys. Bye.